Ubiquiti just announced a new electric vehicle charger called the EV Station. What? Let's talk about it and stay till the end because I have some thoughts and they're definitely not what you may think. Statistics show that about 75% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Subscribing is hands down the best way that you can help out the channel and it is absolutely free. So Ubiquiti put out a brand new video today announcing EV Station, an electric vehicle charger. We had seen the EV Station in a previous video on Unify Connect, but this is a brand new separate announcement specific to this product. Now I'm not gonna play the whole video here, but let's go over some of the details of this new product. Ubiquity starts the video off by saying that electric cars are here to stay, but how will organizations manage them? Now that is a really good question and there is a lot to unpack there. I mean, over the next five to 10 years, electric vehicles are gonna become, you know, pardon the pun, ubiquitous, right? There's gonna be a lot more electric vehicles on the road, which means a lot more people charging while they're at work than there are today. Which brings up some interesting questions, right? Should companies be paying to charge their employees electric vehicles? How do you monitor which employees are using how much charge? Should this be a perk of employment at your business? How do you determine that non-employees aren't charging and using up your electricity? Do you wanna set limits on the amount of charging that an individual employee can do in a given week or a given month? As of today, this isn't a humongous issue because not a ton of people have electric vehicles, right? But that's changing and it could potentially become a significant cost to the business where people are parking their cars. I mean, today, businesses don't go around filling people's cars up with gas while they're at work. And what about companies that have fleets of electric vehicles? What if you're a delivery company and all of your vehicles are electric? There has to be some sort of central way to manage and maintain the electricity that's getting pushed into those vehicles. So all of that being said, I definitely think there is a market for this kind of product, but is Ubiquity really the right company to bring this thing to market? I can already hear what a lot of the comments down below are going to say. They're gonna say, Ubiquity, why are you not just fixing all of the products that you have? Why do you keep coming out with all of these new products? And it's a valid argument, right? Like Ubiquity does have a history of just throwing a bunch of crap at the wall to see what sticks. So is this gonna be the next product that gets everyone really excited, but then sort of ends up in like the trash heap of abandoned Ubiquity products? You know, only time will tell, but again, I do believe that there is a market for this and I think it's a really interesting product overall. So let's talk about some of the specifics. The price listed in the EA store is $799, keeping in mind that EA pricing is always subject to change. However, that price at 800 bucks is kind of in line with a lot of the other smart chargers on the market today. The charger itself looks to be an SAE J1772 charger, which is pretty standard for a lot of electric vehicles out there, except for Tesla. Now Tesla has an adapter for the J1772 charger, but most other vehicles will be able to use it without an adapter. This screenshot here shows 50 amp charging capability, which makes this a level two charger. Also notice the 10.1 inch LCD touchscreen display. It shows charging status at a glance and it actually looks really nice. The cable itself is a 16.4 foot cable. That's a five meter cable for everyone else in the world. And it has a NEMA type 3R weatherproofing rating, which means that it can stand up to rain, snow and sleet, no problem. You can manage the EV station with Unify Connect and the video shows three charging modes, plug and charge, which I assume means it's open for anyone to plug in and charge up, authorized use only, which means only specifically assigned employees can access the EV station, and then no access, which I guess just means, you know, it's disabled for the time being. What we can't see here is the possibility of charging users for usage, right? Since the EV station has statistics as well as user access control, it's not too far-fetched to think that there could be a field for a price per kilowatt hour that you could then pass that price on to your employees you know, while they're charging the car at work. In this screenshot, you can see the user interface assigning EV stations to a user, but also look at this. Now, I'm not sure if I've seen this before, but Unify Connect appears to have some sort of SSO app connectivity. This shows Amazon, Microsoft, and GitHub logins, 
plus the option to add additional SSO app connectivity. Finally, we get a screenshot of the Connect mobile app and it shows us a couple of new things. First, it shows us interfacing with the EV station for turning the charging on and off. And it also shows a Unify talk button, which might be an integrated soft phone uh, in the Unify Connect app. Also, don't miss the 420 up in the corner. Now, these videos are all CGI generated, so there's definitely a graphic designer slipping in a little Easter egg. I see what you did there, guy. So overall thoughts on the EV station, all right? I really think this is an interesting product. I think there is going to be a pretty significant market for products like this. I just don't know if Ubiquiti might be a little far ahead of the curve on this one. This definitely shows that they're thinking about a connected future, but I don't know if I personally, you know, given their history, would be the first person to invest thousands or tens of thousands of dollars filling a parking lot with EV stations on the gamble that they're still going to be available in, you know, three to five years. So I love the idea overall. I'm just not sure if Ubiquity is the right company to be coming out with this product. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you going to buy this thing? I'd love to hear about it. In the meantime, click on one of these videos on the right here that I have handpicked for you to watch next.